you're not happy with Nylander, so you play him with Lindholm and, and the GOAT. Right. What is he going to do there? <laughs> and, and I know he's played terribly. I get it. There was a stretch my buddy Rick Lee decided <laughs> he was so pissed at me that he played me for about a month with Dave Semenko and Shane Churla. <laughs> Nobody could pick up gloves faster than me yeah. by the end of that month. That's all the, you know, because that's what those guys did. And I'm like, how is this supposed to make me play better? Like, how is that going to spur William Nylander to play better? It won't. I, See, this is wrong from, for a lot of reasons. The only solution is for Nylander to get going. I'm sure he thinks he's doing everything he can. But I'll tell you, when I watch him, I can't remember more than one or two times where he's just taken off down the right wing and scared the hell out of the D with his speed. No, he's not he's in just, shape. He's not in game he's shape. He's not doing it. And until he does, playing with the GOAT is not going to make him play that way. And I hate saying that because I don't want to be disrespectful to this kid. But that's not what Nylander is about. If he's going to play and you're going to pay him $7 million, you have to push him to be productive. And that is, you're going to go out there and you're going to play, and if you don't score, you're going to be embarrassed, but I'm not hiding you. Get going. Like, put the accountability on the player because it's, it's not going to work banging it around and chipping it off the glass. That doesn't do anything. I've been there, and I'm telling you, it doesn't work.